Citizen Live at One. My name is Freddie Ndimulio. We kick off this bulletin at the Orange House, where the National Governing Council of the ODM Party today held a meeting. Uh, we do understand that currently a number of leaders are addressing the gathering. Interestingly, WIPA leader uh, Kalozo Musioka is at Orange House. Let's listen in. sibling. So, but we just need to strengthen ourselves, isn't it? So as a party to Meamua, before I invite my party leader, because it's a president, uh, party leader wangu speech is actually presidential. Kuna mastori mingi mingi, see you? Zile mingi ni zetu. Sasa hile vumbi ambaye tutatiana hapa, ejawaya unekana, sinamna hiyo? Lakini ubaya sisi pia tume, elewa. Likuwa mwazo nasema ubaya hatue. Yewi, lakini sasa tumefaya nini? Tumelewa. So may I ask for all of us to be upstanding. Natukaribishe His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga to come and address us. Karibu. Asante, Asante. ODM. ODM ODM NASA 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 Asanteni Kwanza nataka kwanza kutoa shukrani kwa ndugu wetu Hawa ambaye niliwaita ndugu Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka na ndugu eh, weekly kusale mudavadi kuja kukua na sisi katika hii kongamano yetu ya ODM vile mwelezwa ndugu Moses wetangula hako kule kitale kusababu ya shuguli ya petition ya governor wa kitale ye vile vile ametuma salamu kwa delegate ya ODM hapa Ajamaa wamefanya vizuri maana yake tulikuwa tunataka kukonga hii propaganda ya media ambayo inasema ati yo nasa na sambaratika haswa group moja ya media inaeleka ilekea hiyo sana sana sitaki kutaja maana yake mimi najua mtawaibisha nasa imekwisha nasa na sambaratika waifa na kongana na na ODM nini uh, NC na kongana na ODM na yale ni tu katika ile nyumba ya, ya kienyeji bomu ya kienyeji tuna manyumba mengi sangine vijana wanavurutana hapa na pale kama wabungi wanavurutana hiyo sio kuonyesha kwamba NASA inapambaratika hata pale unaishi na bibi sio sio furaha kila siku sangine unatafana na bibi ama sivyo Eh? Lakini hiyo ni maisha. Hiyo inaonyesha demokrasia katika eh, muungano wetu. Ama sivyo? Yeah. Sasa delegates to this uh, very historic uh, National Governing Council ya chama chetu ya ODM. Ladies and gentlemen. You have just come from one of the toughest election battles in our history that tested our capacity beyond limits as a party and as a, as a coalition and as a nation. The election produced one of the st strangest results, the lowest voter turnout in our history too. We are grateful to you and the thousands of people in every part of this country and across the world who worked so hard to ensure we mounted a formidable campaign against which our rivals could only rig and do so bluntly. <coughs> and here I'm talking about two elections, the one of 8th of August and the so-called another election of 26th of, August, of October. I wish to pay tribute too to our partners in the National Super Alliance uh, the Wiper Democratic Party, Ford Kenya, and Amani National Congress for a battle well fought. 
all over the world. Coalitions are formed either to win elections or to form governments. After that, they are dissolved. In our case, we made history by leaving past 2013 elections and expanding beyond court into NASA to fight together in the 2017 and beyond. The election of last year has produced an enduring stalemate never seen before in our country. You are aware that through a different front, you are mounting a formidable challenge to the culture of sham stolen elections with predetermined outcomes. That is the campaign for electoral justice that we have been on since late 2017 and which will run till justice is done. This part has a resolution to fight to ensure that electoral fraud does not pay and never happens again, and that the robber is never again allowed to get away with it. What has gone on since August 8th and the sham repeat election of October 26th the crackdown on the media, civil society, judiciary, and NASA leaders have left no doubt that a dictatorship is raising its head again in our country. In this regard, the stalemate for the sham election has come with some silver lining. It has made it abundantly clear that Jubilee is offering yesterday's approaches to today's problems. To respond to pressure for democracy, justice, fairness, and reform of critical institutions, Jubilee is offering the repression of the 60s and the 90, to the 90s. Jubilee is offering Kenyans a respite all country and presenting it once again to the people of Kenya as something new. There's no doubt that the times are tough and uncertain. The tides are rough and high, but we are agreed on one thing. There is no turning back. And that is precisely why the Orange Democratic Movement has had to assemble and reboot sooner rather than later. These are the times for which the Orange Democratic Movement was formed. That's why we are here, to size up the battle ahead and get battle ready. When the times are tough and uncertain, when everything we fought for and the gains we have made are threatened, Kenyans look to ODM for the direction and leadership. To meet the great expectations of our supporters and the country, we must have a complete and functioning team that is also equal to the task ahead. <coughs> Luckily, the events of the last few months have prepared us for what lies ahead and informed the kind of team, policies, and programs we must put in place. That is precisely the reason we have been at this task these past two days to take stock, discuss the achievements, the setbacks, and the work that lies ahead. We are also here to fashion a party united in purpose strategy and resolve. To this end, we agreed to set up a task force to look into our performance in the elections and to review our nomination rules, considering their positive and negative impacts on our performance. The task force will look into the capacity, resources, strengths, weaknesses and processes of our national election board, not to apportion blame, but to strengthen it and to avoid 
past pitfalls. The task force will present its report to the party within the next 90 days. We are out to build a team that likes and works with one another. We are up against a malevolent dictatorship, a house divided, a party going for half measures, a party with no big screen view of the challenges and opportunities will not win the battle against dictatorship. Yet win we must. The stakes have been higher. The threat to our nationhood has never been more real. Luckily, there is a heightened awareness that now, more than ever, we must succeed. There are many things we must do to set the nation on the road to recovery. I do not mean economic recovery alone, critical as that is. This is not about Vision 2030, which they abandoned, but they now try to resurrect as a smoke screen. We are looking at a fundamental recovery of the soul and architecture of the Kenyan nation. Something is rotten in the state of Kenya. We are struck at a crossroads, uncertain whether to turn left, right, or fire right ahead. The driver does not know. The conductor does not know. You have just been presented with the most uninspiring cabinet in our history, designed to always seek guidance from the driver and the conductor. The passengers are crossing their fingers, knowing well that they are on their own. As a party, we want to step in and help reestablish the moral compass of our nation. We are stepping in to stop a leadership that is heading to the wilderness from taking Kenyans uh, with them on that doomed mission. When the cost of living is going through the window for the umpteenth time under Jubilee, <coughs> when the education sector <coughs> is in a, a mess as it is now, when the regime, <coughs> when the regime is piling new debts on top of old ones, Kenyans look to ODM and NASA to fight them, to fight for them. Essentially, 